Hey everyone, I was saving this one for a later project, but there's a signing opportunity coming up and I just can't pass it up. So I was a little late to the game in picking up one of these Werewolf by Night 32s. I'm actually a big Moon Knight fan, as you've seen some of the other books that I've cracked and pressed and some of the books that I have on my Instagram page. And this deal came up and I thought it was a great price. It was a direct sale over on Instagram and it looked like it had a lot of uh, room for improvement. So the, the main thing was that I saw with it is just uh, a lot of dirt. So if you look at uh, Moon Knight's uh, costume or his, especially his hood, you can see that, that visible soiling and dirt on there. Same with all the text bubbles. So you've seen in other videos me talk about picking up on the white areas and using that as a judge for how dirty the book is. You can immediately tell right there that uh, this, is, this book's got uh, a lot of dirt that can get cleaned up. The cover itself is, is pretty intact. I mean, it's got definitely some spine wear over here. Uh, it's got some corner wear to probably almost every corner. It's got some creases right there that uh, aren't gonna be able to be removed because they're color breaking. Maybe some uh, small tears that are right here on the edge. So that's called edge wear. And when we flip it over, you'll see why. So there's a little bit of an overhang, maybe a little bit of spine roll on this, but uh, so you can see that if, if uh, you can diagnose spine roll weather, yeah, you basically see this, uh, this part of the page. So that's the difference between uh, just stacking curl and spine roll. And that's why this edge is so bad right there is because this edge has been exposed and um, can, can take a lot more abuse and a lot more damage. And then now that I flipped it over, you can see this back cover's got a lot of room for improvement. Lots of white on this, uh, on this cover. Uh, that can be cleaned. The cover itself is, is pretty nice. There's no tears or rips. I can see a, uh, a crease or bend in the book, back of the book that goes, I mean, it's, yeah, so it's a little color breaking right here, so that's a crease, but it, it, it extends a bend that goes kind of like down the page. So that can all, yeah, that, that goes all the way down like that. Uh, so that is something that I'll be able to address, and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the case and take a closer look at it. Okay, let's get into this thing. So as you've heard me say before, old label, old case, easy to get into. Let's put that a little bit right there. My trophy, so we'll hold on to this until it comes back. So you can see uh, a little detail there, just giving it a tap. It's got a little bit of room to move around in that in this uh, encapsulation. So if you give it a little tap, you can kind of move it to the edge so that uh, it gives you some little extra wiggle room. All right. See me almost stab myself right there, <laughs> recapping my exacto knife. All right. Uh, I don't like any of these. Let's see. This guy's good. Okay.
Man, look at that guy, that's beautiful. Okay, so we'll get a closer look at it and you can see, look at that, a lot of stuff that can be done. Oh, there we catch in the light. There you go, we got bends, that whole bend. You see that? That's gonna come out with a press, there's two of them. There's one by the O, the, the W-O, and then there's the one by the W-E, all right? So lots of these bends to the cover it's just really bent up. Let's see if I can get some of the other there. Do the flip. Take a look at the back. I wonder if I could still order one of those shirts. Oh, there's no mitt paper back here. All right, well, I'll flip through it again later. But look at those shirts, man. I'd love to have one of those. Okay. Let's take a look at this back cover. So, as I said, really dirty. All kinds of uh, bends that can be taken out of there. That bend right there. This thing's going to look beautiful after a press. Bends down the corner right there. All right, so we got one heck of a project in front of us. Like I said, I was planning on waiting on this one, but there's a signing opportunity coming up, and I really just can't pass that up. So uh, we will get into working on this in, uh, in a little bit.
All right, I got my uh, post-press reveal over here in the early morning light shining through the window. So let's take a look at how this Werewolf by Night 32 turned out. Okay, so if you remember, there were a lot of, uh, a lot of bends on this cover. Let's see if I can catch it in the light. Okay, look at that. So there still needs to be some work done. See if I can catch that uh, right there. You see that? Okay, we need to press this again to try to get that out as much as possible. Might actually break out the um, tack iron to, to deal with that. See if we can't lift it a little bit. Let's see what else I see on here. Okay, and I see some more bends. It's not that bad, but let's see. It's hard, there we go. Let's catch a light right there, you see that? Okay, we're gonna press it again to try to mitigate that some more. And there's also a little bit of, let me see, there's some, and this guy was really crinkled. All right, so other than that, which was a big bend across the thing, that'll get us dinged. Man, that runs all the way down. So we're gonna address that. And then we're gonna address the uh, other piece. Uh, we'll get that back in the press. <clears throat> Take a look at the back. Okay, so that guy also needs some spot work. I'm gonna bust out the ball and tack iron for that. What is that guy? Let's see. Oh, that's just the line. Okay, and then yeah, I mean, this guy was really crinkled, so not surprised that I have to put it back in there. But that's okay. You know, press until, until we're um, happy with the results. All right, so I'm going to pause this. I'm going to maybe turn on the time lapse and then uh, address those uh, other two pieces on there.
As you saw, a lot of work just went into that using the tack iron and roller ball to try to work out some of those bends. Uh, that's what's uh, referred to as the hot shots method by, that can be used for dents or crease removal. You basically use a Q-tip to apply uh, some localized moisture to those bends to loosen the paper. Then you use intermittent heat along with rotating in and out the, the uh, steel ball bearing, which you basically use to massage the, the paper fibers. So the moisture, massaging them and the heat, you're trying to smooth them out and to, to push out some of those bends that in many cases have been there for decades if you're working with a, an older book like this. So I think we, we hit a number of spots on the front cover. There was that large bend that kind of runs like this, uh, like this uh, across it. Uh, we were able to address that. I also spent some time on this uh, edge wear right here since uh, this book is offset a little bit so there's a little bit of cover over uh, overhang which is the the result which has resulted in all of these uh, different tears and, and wear on this uh, this edge I, I also spent some time trying to, to work on the, the creases and bends that are associated with uh, this corner so there's a, a bend there's a crease right here that barely breaks the color and then you see this obvious creasing right here so we tried to work on that as much as possible. I hit the back cover, uh, replaced the centerfold cart, uh, magazine backer board, and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in the press for another rotation front and back cover, uh, another 12 to 24 hours, and then we'll, uh, we'll see how it looks after that.